Well, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah he's undercover. <laughs> <laughs> he's got his filming oh. hair, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, let's go over the entries for Eric. Okay, so here was the first entry here. Boom. Short it, stop here, drops. Do you understand it? Do you see so what you did? Below. Yes. Boom. The previous bar. Yep, you ran. It's good. Mm. So oh. why didn't you know where to put the stop? I still don't know. What do you mean? Because I don't know. I don't know. That's scary. Put the stop bar. in. No, the stop, the stop. No, I got in, I'm thinking, I got in at 1793. Yes. And before you had, I thought you said the stop should have been 1750. 1850. This is where I'm not calling the dollar. Remember, yeah, this is yeah. where you're getting screwed up in your head about the yeah. entries. But you should know, well, today I was looking at two things, but you got to know, so then you got to know where it's at. You got to have the chart up and look at it and know that if you're getting something at 90 something, if I'm saying 50 and that's above it, therefore yeah, it's a it dollar is. above it. Okay. So 1793 or wherever you got hit, then the stop's 1850. Okay. You're going to just have to pay attention okay. because there's nothing we oh, can do. Oh, okay. You got in it right, but then you totally ignored the stop. And I'm telling you that this could have gone against you. It didn't, and it's fine. <laughs> but you still got to you got to learn how to do that right because I don't have time to give the dollars So you got to know that if I say 90 something and then if I say a smaller number for this stop It okay. means it's, it has a number ahead of it. That's higher. Okay. It could be 1850. It could be 1950 could be 2050 It depends if this is a cheaper okay. stock for example What was the other one the oh, other day? Man. Did CN have one above the thing? There was one of the ones that was because like I could say 2350 the stop might be 2502. I mean, you never know. Some things are smaller stops than other ones. Here, let's look. Oh, and all I do is look at the chart. All I have to do is look at the chart. I know. I know. Just me in the moment. It's, man. I know. It's, it's, it's all good, good and everything day. when the trade works, but you you got yeah. to have to protect yourself. See, the high in this one here was 2514. Low in the day was 2352. So it dropped from 25 something to 23 something. Mm -hmm. So, you, you know. But it took all day. It took all day, but okay. I'm just saying you still got to pay attention to the numbers of the thing. You have time to do it. You're not acclimated enough because it yeah. was your first week doing it to do it fast enough. But the point is sure. you've got to do it because what if it doesn't work? Mm. Um, I think it would have got me out anyway because yeah, I have that $200. Well, you said you would have covered it, but the point is it... It doesn't Next matter. Loss. They're not going to kill you. They're not going to kill it? Well, they might kill it, but they might kill it with, poof, you know, who knows when they notice it or kill it. Well, they might kill it with a $500 loss by the time they notice it and kill it. When the stock reverses against you, what was the one yesterday? Oh, Staples. Gosh, how could we forget? This was insanity. This one here, this really was a failure yesterday because look at it today. Isn't it institutions coming in with all the big flaws? We'll look at the whole chart in this, but it's just here, this. You said, well, la, 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 but if you had had the stop here, if you would have said, well, I'm going to just cover it, the length of this bar here is 50 cents, the second bar. Between two minutes from 917 to here, it's 70 cents. So if you were supposed to have the stop here, I don't know why you would have done this here, but say you shorted it, you're supposed to have the stop here. You're like, well, I'll just cover it. Well, where are you getting out? You're getting out like way up here by the time you press it. I mean, this isn't moving a live time, but we watched it yesterday and it went, Too. you know what I mean? It's seconds that you have to do it. And then the order has to get sent. It's not just you pressing it. The order has to get sent to the ECM and then it has to get filled. This is like second, second, seconds. But this is also happening in second, second, seconds. This is not a slow moving thing. That's why sometimes when you press the button to get out of something, you don't, or get into something, you don't have an exact fill. Like you press it, then it's a couple pennies in, or you press it, it's a couple pennies up. Do you know what I mean? Because the order has to be sent. I mean, this is, this is as close as live time as trading is ever going to get for us people. But it's just the point that you have to have to stop in. All right, let's look at the daily chart of uh, staples here. I think it's just a good example of something that's just down a lot. It's just down a lot and it's backing up, but I would never go on this. Are institutions buying this? No, mm -hmm. not in the chart. The chart's in a downtrend. But for the gap down that happened here that failed, it's getting buying now through the second day through. Somebody's buying it. 
do I think that this changes the trend in the chart? No. Would I buy it? No. Do I think it's going to drop again? Yes. Do I know when? No. But I wouldn't buy it. So. It's choppy. It's very choppy. It was choppy. Well, it was actually trading smoother today than it did yesterday. Does anyone want to go over anything else? And then I'm going to just, here, Google's coming in now. It's at 843.79. Does anyone want to go over anything else here about the week or anything today? Anything at all? Here, look, what did FNSR do? Yes. What? <laughs> FNSR, whatever. Oh, yeah. How's everyone doing? You took FNSR and paper at 10.06 and made more in six minutes and you did the Zoom Z trade. Oh, I thought you did that in for real journey on me, said. Journey woman, you have to decide if you're going to do one trade a day or two trades a day. You, again, you can't change your mind all the time. Just like Galahad can't change his mind on the amount of the risk, you can't change your mind on your mind on the days of the trades. Are you doing two trades a day or one trade a day? Are you doing retakes or only doing one trade? You should be doing one trade a day. Uh -huh. That's it. Mm -hmm. I knew you was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> You risked a sec, Alahad. I don't think so, because you risked more on this trade here, which is fine, it worked in Google than you did in the previous ones the last two weeks. You risked more. So I don't, you know, make up your mind. Pay was crazy. Absolutely crazy, but did work. I felt that it would. Gapped up, failed, then in the morning got down, dropped. You would have had to do a retake in this to make money. I think the easiest one was the one that was the Zoom Z, and this is still going. Is anyone still in this at all? It could get to 27. So do you want to do two trades during moment, or do you want to do one trade? If you risk 2800, if you risk 2700 in uh, Google, that's more than you risk in the option in Target. It's more than you risk in the other options. Again, I don't, I don't care what you risk. I'm just saying figure out a number and, 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 and pick it. If you had risked 2700 in Google and we're at 1900 would you have gotten now? Yes. Knowing that you could have possibly made 4000 hmm. I probably would have got out. You probably would have got out. I would have thought about it, probably agonized it, but I probably would have got out. I think you would have got out because you made the decision to go out the other day. I said, yeah. what do you want to do? You said, I'm going to get out. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> you made the decision yourself. <laughs> we replayed the tape. <laughs> I know. Well, I know. Well, that's why it's like interesting because then when I, when I ask you, like I said, do you want to do Costco? And you, and you said, uh, and you said, I said, no, the answer is no, then you don't want to do it. So if you have to think about it, the answer is no. That's the, that's the telltale sign. If you're questioning it, then the answer is no. Yeah. Holding it, or getting it, or taking it, or doing it, or doing a second trade, or whatever. Do you know what I'm saying? Your intuition is trying to tell you something. Do you see? You see? Yeah, 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 it yeah, is. Yeah. Danger. <laughs> I think the journey woman, if the idea of you risking more and doing one trade would be, would be better off for you right now. I think that that would have better results for you. Risking a little more and doing one trade, not doing the two. I know you like want to do a second one and want to do a second one, but I think risking more and doing the one trade is better, so that when they when they really go and work and, and fall hard, you will make you know you'll have a good what you think is a good amount of money in the one trade that works, and even when it's a small win, then you'll feel okay about it. I, and I think you should I think you should do one trade and do the good amount and then not do two. I think it is. I think it is easy. I think you know Galahad. When you get out of the mentality of trying to make huge trades, if you would decide in your head that you are perfectly acceptable and okay with not having a ten thousand dollar a winning option trade this year, if you can live with that and go to bed at night and get up in the morning and face yourself every day and accept that that's the better thing for you to do is to do you know to get out with the profit like you did in the last two in the last week, then I think you'll be fine. There's nothing wrong with making, you know, $1,900 or $1,600 in one trade. That's another thing. You what? had posted last year. 
Yeah, I uh, made those. The, yeah, the, and he the, did the, too. 10,000, 8,000. So you yes. see that, you're like, well, you know. But now he like, thinks every trade is going to be that. Okay. It's not. Mm. Mm. That's just reality. That is the reality. That's the market. Not every trade is going to be a huge win, but it is absolutely possible to be consistent with what you're doing with the picks and making money. And I've never been more consistent than I have been in 2017. There's reasons for that. But the reality is that it is about the consistency with it and not letting it get under your skin if something goes longer than you think. Here, we're gonna do a little exercise. We're gonna do, we're gonna do a little exercise here. Just hang on one second. I'm gonna bring up a PowerPoint. Aaron, where are you? Over here. Uh, stop it. I'm gonna, we're gonna do a second little lecture here. That this will 